going on everyone jake here from Macroom. today i want to talk about this this is the hello radio uh, v16 i want to pair it to this this is the beta fpv air 65 championship edition this is a new drone this is a new radio to me i'm going to talk about both of these things and put them together so yeah, it obviously looks a whole lot like a RadioMaster uh, TX16S. Uh, there's some small differences. The grips are different. The switches up at the top are different. The shell is moderately different. The buttons or layouts are different, but functionality is gonna be essentially the same. The Hello Radio here is running Edge TX, uh, which is pretty standard these days. It does have a touch screen, so that's really pretty nice. This one also has some LED lights around the gimbals. Mine has the upgraded aluminum gimbals, which is the nicest version. It also has a built-in gyro, so if you wanna fly something with motion control, you can. You can't do it with a drone, but you could do it with a plane and it also has voice controls. And plenty of reviewers have already done that. What I wanna do is walk you through setting up a model on this. Now this is the four in one, and I have a module, an external module, running ELRS on the back. And the reason I did that is I'm gonna donate this thing to our local drone club so they can use this thing for drone racing. That'll allow them to bind it to some of the newer ELRS quads that they have, plus they have some older Tiny Hawks and things like that, so we can use it with whatever we want. Plus, I'm gonna put this throttle on a dial so we can kind of tone it down for the beginners and tone it up when they're ready to go. So we're gonna walk through all of that today. Now, just kind of looking at the radio, it has a really nice feel. I mean, it is essentially the same here as my Radio Master, which I really do like. Now, I went to the Boxer because I prefer a smaller form factor, and this is just what I like, but it is certainly a personal preference, right? If you want all the switches and things, this is a good option. Three position, three position all across the top. We got three position up there as well. That's two and a momentary. Now I believe charging is in the bottom here. Uh, there's also SD card down there. Yep, that's my charging port. Uh, but if but if I want to use this with a SIM, my USB my USB C port is on the top along with the trainer. Okay, I'm gonna go into my model and I'm gonna show you what I did. So I'm gonna select model. And it wants all of my switches to be in the right position, which now they are. Okay. So let's do model. And a couple of things, right? I'm gonna page through and we're gonna go ahead and double check. All right, so we got AETR, my number five channel. Like oh, touch screen, that's right, is SD. So this is where I do all of my arming. Some people like the SA, you can put it on any switch you want. All right, so let's walk through how to do a throttle cut here. So I'm gonna go over to mixes. Um, let me pull this down. Mixes, and then I'm gonna go to my throttle, tap on throttle and said, insert after. I'm gonna click on source here, and I'm gonna change the source to this dial S1. You can see it goes to 13. We're gonna confirm that. I'm gonna click on weight here, and I'm gonna change my weight to 25. And then I'm gonna go to offset, I'm gonna change that to 75. Now I'm gonna click on my switch here and I'm gonna put it on SF. All right, so when I flip it forward, that's gonna indicate that it's working. I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna click here. I need my multiplex. I'm gonna change that to multiply. After. All right, so I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna tap there again. I'm gonna click insert after. I'm gonna select my throttle again. I'm gonna make it my S1 switch. We're good there. All right, I'm gonna click on weight again. And I'm, gonna make it oop, I'm gonna make it 25. My offset here is actually gonna be minus 25. 
Oops. Click the minus. What? Oh, plus minus. There we go. Minus 25. We'll put it on that same switch. SF down. And I'm going to leave my multiplex to add. So that should be good to go. So now if my throttle, you can see it's going 0, minus 100 to 100, minus 100 to 100 here. But if I flip that switch, right, that channel 12 switch, and I'm at 100 now, I can dial it. If it's all the way to the right, it's at 100%. It's in the middle. It's at 50. And I can kind of work the dial and the throttle to where it needs to be. Okay. Turn that off and it operates normally. Pretty cool, yeah? So this, like I said, is ELRS and this is a multi-protocol radio. So I need to connect this to an external module. So I called my uh, model name ELRS external. Um, I'm gonna click on external RF uh, to make sure that that is what we're doing here. We just need to make sure we've selected external um, external uh, module down here and set it to crossfire. Uh, I'm going to leave the receiver to zero. That means I can just connect anything ELRS to this guy. Okay, so now what I need to do is make sure that my module here has my binding phrase. So what I'm going to do is connect to um, the ELRS configurator. So if you don't have any, if you don't have the ELRS configurator, you're going to download that. You're also going to need to download Betaflight for your drone as well. I'm in the Express LRS configurator, and what I need to do is connect uh, my module to uh, my computer, just with a USB-C. Then I'm going to choose the correct um, the correct module, right? So this is a Radio Master, ironically, uh, Radio Master 2.4. And it says right on here that this is the Ranger Micro. So we're going to go down to the Ranger Micro 2.4. I'm going to do uh, the binding phrase. We're just going to make it half chrome uh, so that when I put a binding phrase on this and it's half chrome, it'll just connect and we flash, right? So um, you can put in your home Wi-Fi network if you want to flash over Wi-Fi, make that easier to do updates. I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, so things that are important, get the right stuff, right? Remember, I'm not flashing the radio, I'm flashing the module, and I'm creating a binding phrase. Uh, so when I put the same binding phrase on my quad, they just connect. So I'm going to click flash. It takes a little bit of time to kind of build and go through that process, and then it puts the binding phrase on that module. Now, I've already said uh, in the model inside the radio to use the external module, so that should work. But we're not quite done. I still also need to connect uh, my quad and then set my quad up in beta flight. So I'll go through that process too. Okay, success. So now what we need to do is get my drone ready and we're going to set that up in beta flight. And then we're going to flash ELRS, the binding phrase to this guy. Now, in order to connect this drone, I need this little dongle that comes with it uh, because they don't have a micro USB-C or micro USB or a USB-C connection. They have this little connector here. So I connect my drone here. Then I can connect it to my computer via USB-C. And now I'm going to go into Betaflight. Again, if you haven't downloaded Betaflight, you're going to need to do that. All right, so it pops up. I'm going to click connect and I'm going to look at a handful of different things, starting with my modes, right? So I have arm on aux one. That's what I want. Angle mode is my aux two switch, which is what I want. Beeper, I like to always put on three and flip over after crash. I always put on aux four. That's a personal preference thing. So we're going to click save there. Let's take a look at my config. Uh, so it's the Air 65C. I'll see that. Air mode looks like it's always on. I've got the RX uh, lost and set so I can make my drone beep. That's super important. Uh, let's take a look at the OSD. I like to set some crosshairs in the middle. Just kind of 
help me set some things up. I want battery voltage on there. I don't want a lot of these other things. Uh, we'll leave we'll leave most of that up there as well. We don't need fly mode. Okay, everything else is good. Let's click save. I'm also gonna set crash recovery equals on. And that's really nice uh, because what that does is if I'm flying in acro mode and I bump into something, it'll self-level. just makes it super easy to fly in acro outside. I, I take it back. It doesn't make it easy to fly in acro. It makes it super easy. It makes it a lot easier to recover when you crash in acro. Okay, so I think for here, we're good. Now, another thing that is good is I've got this green flashing light, which means it's emitting a Wi-Fi connection. So what I'm going to do now is connect to the Wi-Fi of this drone. So I should see a an ELRS network. There we go. So I'm gonna to connect to this Express LRS network, connect, and that'll allow me to do the magic that I need to do. All right, I'm connecting to the network. If you hear that buzzing, it's a fan. Uh, it was getting kind of hot, so I put the drone on a fan just to kind of keep it from uh, overheating, make this process work a little bit better. All right, I'm gonna to go to 10.0.0.1, and I'm gonna enter in my binding phrase, which is half chrome. I'm gonna click save. Configuration updated, and I should be able to connect now to my radio. Let's find out. I'm not, and I'm actually gonna check in Betaflight by going to my receiver tab. I can see, ooh, I can see that it's working, right? So as I move the throttle, it works. Yaw, pitch, roll. I got my switches, aux one. Okay, I got a battery in it. And it does, of course, work. Now, the cool thing about ELRS, because the radio has a binding phrase, and I put the same binding, lost. and I put the same binding phrase on all my quads, right? When I swap, they will work, right? So this is my standard Air 65. Let's make sure that this one works. Telemetry recovered. Sounds good. All right. So I'm gonna fly yeah, this. Lost. So I'm gonna fly this new Air 65 Champion Edition, and let me just tell you what's different about it before I do. Uh, the motors they are 0702, 30,000 kV. So we have an increase in kV, and the flight controller it's the all-in-one. Uh, five in one, right? This is a four in one plus a receiver. This one has the receiver built into it. In terms of weight, they're basically the same. I put them on the scale and my scale can't tell any difference. Ooh, you know one thing they did that's really nice here. I always say put a dab of E6000 on the UFL connector. They actually glue the EFL connector down for you. So kudos, that is awesome uh, because I've actually ruined a drone. Uh, because the UFL connector popped off in a crash. So uh, I suspect that the championship edition is going to run a little bit faster um, because of the higher KV motors. And if I push it faster, I'm going to drain the batteries a little bit quicker, but it should be a little bit more responsive, a little bit quicker. That's pretty cool. So not a full review of this guy. Let's fly it around and uh, see how it goes. Now, if you're looking for this radio or one of these quads, I'll have links down below. There are affiliate links. They help support this channel. Hopefully you found this helpful. If it was, give us a thumbs up. Come back, learn more. Learn more about drones. Figure out what is best for you. Good luck, everyone. And happy flying.